We're all having to adapt to a changing environment, one where storms are getting stronger and more frequent. We don't get to dictate when the next storm hits or how bad it's going to be. But we can work to mitigate the impacts of climate change. That's why I established the Climate Initiatives Task Force and set a goal of reaching net zero by 2050. This task force, which includes scientists, academics, industry leaders, and environmentalists, has adopted a statewide climate action plan. What makes our plan special and the most attainable, in my opinion, is that instead of working against oil and gas companies, we are working with them. In this state, that will look like offshore oil platforms and wind turbines side by side. In fact, many oil companies have already pledged to reach similar net zero goals. Additionally, combating climate change is just as much about economic development as it is about anything else. Some of our biggest economic development projects recently have been with companies focused on clean energy. Growing Fuels here in Baton Rouge is planning $9.2 billion renewable fuel investment at the port. Air Products plans to build a $4.5 billion blue hydrogen facility in Ascension Parish. There's a $1.1 billion expansion of a green diesel plant in Norco in St. Charles Parish. And the Shell Convent Refinery, too, may get a second life making low-carbon fuels. And in North Louisiana, in Caldwell Parish, we announced plans for Louisiana Green Fuels, a $700 million renewable diesel refinery. And these are just a few. And just these projects alone add up to more than 1,000 permanent jobs and many thousands of construction jobs. If you think that clean energy doesn't equal jobs, you just couldn't be more wrong. Just two weeks ago, the first offshore wind lease sale in New York brought in more than $4.3 billion. That's billion with a B. It's estimated that those wind leases will power millions of homes. We're scheduled to have the first ever wind lease sale in the Gulf Coast early next year. And as we can see from legislation filed by Representatives Zerang and Orgeron, there's strong interest in wind energy development here in Louisiana on both sides of the aisle. There's also strong interest in wind energy development in Louisiana waters from stakeholders, our state waters. So this is the future that I've been talking about. We have to harness it. And we can either get on board or we can get left behind. Ultimately, our motivation for advancing clean energy should be preserving the land we are so very blessed to call home and also so that we can make sure that Louisiana will not be washed away.